All right, what's going on everybody? How you guys doing today? In today's video, I'm gonna run down my top five tips to become a better Frost player in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, this video was mainly inspired by my homie Chris. He did a top five tips to be a better Montang. Uh, there will be a tag right above at the top of the screen right now. I highly recommend you check it out if you are a Monty player or if you're new to Montang and wanna become a Monty player. Now, I hope everybody is staying safe out there in 2020. So far, it sucked. Uh, today's March 29th. And the virus is spreading, so everybody quarantine like all of us gamers usually do. So hopefully everybody's safe, hope all your family's doing good and everything, so we're just going to get right into it. So starting off, Frost is a 2 speed 2 armor with the option of a shield, a bulletproof camera, and she has 3 frost mats. Her primary weapon of choice is a 32 round 9mm C1 submachine gun, or her super 90 shotgun, or we like to call it the sniper 90. Her secondary weapon is just a pistol. Honestly, I would like to see something else for this option, but I love the pistol. Um, I'm not sure what could really fill it in. Maybe the Grumpy Pumpy or some sort of shotgun or the Bailiff. You know, something just to switch it up instead of just having one pistol to choose from. It's not a bad pistol. I love using it. I just would like to see something else onto it. But personally, I run the SMG with Holographic, which was added recently with this new season. Uh, I run Angle Grip with it and the Extended Barrel. You can run whatever you want to use. Um, the suppressor is good in some cases if you're trying to be uh, a roam frost, trying to sneak up on them. But I usually run extended barrel. It helps with that long range because it's a submachine gun. But getting into my tips, the first tip that I have is when deploying your frost mats, make sure you think about where you actually want to put them based on how the enemy team plays. And what I mean by that is if you're versing an aggressive team that you know will push fast, place your frost mats in random entryways that enter the building. Uh, common windows, drops, corners, places that you really wouldn't expect a frost mat to be because those most likely will be the ones to hit the most. But for example, say if you're playing on the new Oregon rework, um, if you put a frost mat over near Junkyard below one of those windows and the site isn't even, it's say it's downstairs in laundry or the new laundry, if you put a frost mat all the way across the map, nobody's really going to be looking down when they hop into that window. Fucking voice crack, holy shit. When they hop into that window, they're not going to be looking down at that, and that could be a free frost mat kill. And if you're in the site and you see it, you know where it's going to be, and you don't necessarily need to go and get that kill. That person will be at 20 HP, and somebody else is going to go over there to pick them up, and that's going to kill a lot of time off the clock and leave them at low HP. But most of this gameplay, you will see certain spots on where I place my frost mats. Um, I do play frost a lot. Um, I did a lot on Xbox, and I have been getting a lot more into her on PC. Um, there is a certain skill drop and like a skill gap with frost. Usually, you won't ever see her in pro league or high champion, high diamond, because most of the players are quick enough to react to frost mats. But if you're in the range of even just freaking bronze to high platinum, low platinum, most of these frost mats will get people and sometimes they'll get caught off guard. Even good players will get stuck in a frost mat. But my second tip is to create what I call a trump wall. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory. You place a shield in a tight doorway and you put a frost mat right as they hop in. So once they hop over the shield, they drop right into a frost mat and that leaves them at an instant down. If you pair this with your teammate shields like Goyo, Frost, Valk, Jaeger, you can force a lot of downs. Especially with Goyo, if somebody hops over a Goyo shield and they get stuck in the frost mat and you're not close enough to kill them, just shoot the Goyo and bam, it'll flame everywhere to kill the person and if there's somebody else behind the shield trying to get over that to heal them or pick them up, then it's going to get both of them. Behind any of these shields or windows or even uh, ledges, you can place two frost mats. If you know that they shoot the first one, the second one will hopefully get them. Um, but there's a downside to this, if you put two or three frost mats on a window, like say Chalet, uh, Chalet Trophy window, usually you can put three in there or even two, but sometimes the downside is if anybody has a frag, they could toss it up and blow up all your utility in one frag grenade, or they can go upside down on repel and shoot all of them if they drone in and know that they're there. But if you do have an ADS, say on the window or anything, and they try to throw a frag, you could force it down, but it's less likely if people know that they're there. It's just all a mind game and where you're putting everything and when you do. Like, for example, if you see a drone droning in and they see your frost mats, your best bet is to pick them up and just move them. Or you can leave them. It's up to your choice and just watch them and make sure that they don't blow up. But 
the third tip I have is to be fast at setting up your mats and putting up your walls. Now, this is just self-explanatory, and this should happen with every operator. You need to get most of your utility down in the first prep phase. Um, if you're slacking and you're going into the round phase, then you're okay, but usually you want to get them all down so you can get set up and ready for the push that they're going to do because if you hit frost mat and it's across the map you got to know where it is and you got to push it or you can sit there and wait for them but usually with frost i'd say anchor close to site but be able to roam around the site if you need to um this is crucial in certain points um say if you have a frost mat above the site and you know that they hop in and they get stuck on it you can anchor close to site and just be ready for them because when those people do push the site, they're going to take the time out to revive their teammate in the frost mat. You're going to hear them do it. The person's going to get up with 20 HP and then they're going to have to push the site. And that leaves you to either hit cap cans, lesions, even though they don't do damage anymore, but other gadgets that will do damage or even instant down. But most of these people will push the site and your teammates are going to be ready for them. You're going to be ready for them. And if you hit that guy with 20 HP, it's basically a one shot down. So... There's no need to go risk yourself to get killed for a frostmat kill that you know you're going to end up getting in the future. The second to last tip I have for you for frost is don't be afraid to leave the enemy trapped in your mat. That's exactly what I was talking about in the past tip. Um, if you know where they are, you don't need to risk your life. Um, if it's not safe to get the kill, just don't even bother going for it. You're better off killing the time on the clock and waiting for them to make a move. Uh, the people in the trap will get revived to 20 HP, so it's basically a one shot on defense for almost every one of your teammates. But it's really not smart to go in run off site and try to go get that kill and you not even get it. If that person gets up and there's another teammate there and they gun you down, then you're down a man and yeah, they have another person, but that's still that person is still at 20 HP, so they can still do damage and get a headshot. You're just better off waiting in sight, waiting it out and playing the clock. Because on defense, time is your friend. You want to use that. I've seen countless times of Frost players or just any operators just being aggressive when you have time on your side and you have numbers. Siege is all about, there's literally only two minutes, two plus minutes for them to make a move and they have to plant the bomb. You don't have to do anything. You are defending the site. You could sit in a corner all you want and wait. You just got to think about what you're doing in Siege. It's all about timing. It's all about where you place your gadgets and who you're playing around, what your team is based off of, and everything like that. Now this will be my last tip for this video, but if these tips do help you in any way, when you play Frost, leave a like and let me know what you learned or if you learned something new about her. She's a very good operator. She's kind of underrated in some cases. Um, like I said, she's good from the silver range to mid plat, even high plat. Uh, I've seen countless players in high plat hit frost mats because they're not even used to seeing frost so it's kind of cool she used to be really good when lesion did damage because you could throw a lesion mine right on top of a frost mat and that would insta kill them but you know lesion doesn't do damage anymore it just does the slow and the hit for you but my last tip is depending on the map pick you got for your rank game if you get a map that leans more towards close engagements use her shotgun uh frost will almost always win the gunfight if you have the jump on the player the enemy player and her shotgun hits like a fucking truck i'm telling you this thing is disgusting in some cases her shotgun outperforms her smg in every category possible so if you're playing on a close quarters map say like oregon or even like if you're in casual playing favela or like any any map really the shotgun is very very good and it's viable it does a lot of damage and you it's a semi-auto you can just spray it and you'll get a lot of kills with it but in some cases, um, say on Oregon again, I usually use the shotgun to break floors, break ceilings. Um, so if I put a frost mat in classroom in Oregon on the window and the person hops in, they'll get stuck in it. But I'll be upstairs in the bedroom slash game room and I can shoot a couple shots through the floor and see them stuck in the mat. And that's an easy safe kill for me if they don't know it. Or you could use it just to sit there and wait to see if somebody comes to pick up that teammate and you could get another kill because you're just watching them but you got to make sure that the person in the mat doesn't see that you're up there it's very good to use their shotgun to use destruction to your ability of course you got to keep in mind that her shotgun has its limits it is a shotgun so it has range limits and it doesn't do as much damage you could get out guns and you most likely would on an open range map but even if some of the team is slightly damaged or one shot, the shotgun will rip them apart and it will go through multiple people. It is a spread shot, so it's not just the slug. It's not the boss G, so you don't have to worry about that. 
But as for more open long range type of maps, use her SMG to combat the range issues. It is a very good SMG. It has a really good fire rate and it has a lot of ammo. I think it's the highest SMG on defense. I think it's like 32 bullets, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. I think there's other SMGs that have more ammo, but this SMG hits like a truck too. Paired with her holographic, her new holographic, it's just awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the tips that I have for you on how to become a better Frost player. Uh, let me know if you guys did enjoy videos like this. If you do, I could make a series on all the operators that you guys choose in the comments. Um, most of the operators, I do have a lot of personal tips for them. Um, Frost just happens to be the one that I know the most about. Um, I do have a lot of Frost Matt Downs kills, all that from Xbox to PC. Um, so if you guys do want to see more operators in the future, let me know down in the comments and I will try to get to as many of them as possible. Maybe even one day we could do every single operator in the game. You will never know. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching and stay safe out there in today's time. You know, the coronavirus, everything 2020 is just going crazy. Tom Brady leaving the Patriots. Like, it's just sad, you know. But we're going to have to roll with the punches, everybody. So just stay inside, game with the boys or girls. And I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace out.